All right, so this is free solo. Today we're working in hand, um, and I wanted to share with you guys an origin story of how I started working my horses in hand away from the wall. Um, so most people, when they start working the horses in hand, they push them against the wall um, and then start touching the hind leg and containing uh, the energy in front. And that's how I started working my horses in hand, and I did that for a long time. Um, and I had several clients that were paying me to work with their horses in hand, and I was doing a lot in hand. And I had a client bring me in to work with their horse, and they asked me to teach the horse in hand, but they only had an arena that had that small little plastic dressage fence. Um, and it was really kind of a blessing because what happened is I took this horse, big warm blood, and put it against the wall of this little plastic fence and touched it on the hind leg and it just walked over to the side and obliterated the fence. There's little bits of plastic going everywhere. <laughs> um, and so then I was thinking to myself, how am I going to teach this horse to pee off if I have no solid wall? Um, because at that place where this horse was located, that was the only fence there was. There was no solid wall, no round pen. Um, and so I started thinking about how to teach this horse how to pee off without a wall. Uh, and I went through and was thinking about it. And I love horsemanship because it's something that you can be up late at night thinking about your problems and it can help you uh, figure out a path moving forward. And somewhere in that process, I thought, oh, I'd seen a video on Facebook of a guy, uh, his name is Christophe Thiele. I think that's how you say his name. He's a French guy um, and a very talented trainer. And I had seen a video of him with a horse in hand, piaffing the horse away from the wall. Um, and so I thought, you know, wow, that's really cool. But how is he teaching the horse to do that? And so I, I messaged him and he said, oh, Joseph, it's, it's pretty simple. You just have to take the time to teach the horse to move the hind leg towards you. Um, it's not uh, so intuitive to the horses because naturally their way of being is if they feel pressure, they yield away from that pressure. So if you think about it, we spend a lot of time on the ground teaching our horses to yield away from us, to respect our space. Um, and to direct the hind leg under. So if I move into solo here, I want to be able to use my energy to get him to reach that hind leg under and yield away from me. But the truth of the matter is, it's in dressage and in horsemanship, it's not just about teaching one thing, it's about teaching multiple things. Um, and sometimes we have to teach these little small building blocks that then help us later on. So if, even if we're not starting with the Piaf today, um, we can teach these building blocks that will help us get to the Piaf down the road. And so what Christoph told me is take the time that when you have your horse, that you can reach over their back with their whip, with this longer whip, touch him on that outside hip, and teach him from this pressure to move that hind leg towards you. So I'll lead him forward a little bit here, touch with the whip, wait for him to figure it out until that hind leg can step towards me. So it's a very different feeling for the horse to move that hind leg forward towards you and have it be what they want. Um, but tying this back to the story at the beginning, so I thought about this and that was the beginning of figuring out how to teach my horses to pee off away from the wall. Um, what's interesting about what happened after that is I, I was pushed into this from a, a need, right? I have a, a plastic wall that forced me to change my horsemanship. But what's interesting about it is then when I started doing it with horses that I had a solid wall, it actually made me figure out how to get them straighter, how to get them more through, and it made my pee-off better at the end. Um, and so sometimes we have things like that. We have, maybe we have an injury and we, you know, 
can't use our one arm for a while. Don't let that stop you from getting your horse out and playing with them because there's sometimes some hidden blessing in that that helps you learn how to move your horse a different way. Um, and I think sometimes there's a lot of amateurs that struggle with this feeling that they're, they're having trouble with their horse and they seek these professionals that have all the answers. But the truth of the matter is that no matter how advanced you get in this, nobody has all the answers except for the horses. And so, you know, we have to be okay living in this zone where we're trying to figure out the answers and we're tinkering with these problems in our head. Um, and so be comfortable in that place and not knowing the answers. But so this evolved into this kind of play for me where I can position the body. I can yield the hind leg under. I can get him a little bit inside leg inside which is actually the right side of his body connecting onto that outside rein so my my right hip his right hip to the left side of the snaffle then i can do a little serpentine here and get the left hip left hind leg connecting out to the right side of the snaffle and as i learned that i can control the body and control the straightness then I can add a little activity or energy and see if I can direct that energy. And so one of the th tools that I use in that moment is a little swish from the whip. Sometimes gets a little activity. And then directing where he goes with that activity. Good boy. Looking for those little glimpses of uh, activity or half steps, little touch on top of the croup. Good, not too worried if I'm moving forward or traveling a little bit. My primary focus is develop, developing acceptance and understanding to the aids. And that's a really important piece to think about. My focus at hand is not solely Piaf. It's developing acceptance and understanding of the aids. Um, because if I focus on just Piaf, what ends up is I end up destroying my acceptance and understanding of the aids. So I get